Hello, in this lesson I'm going to talk about forcing and toggling of bits and inputs and outputs. Um, I want to start out by first of all the most important thing to remember is you can really damage equipment or possibly even injure personnel or kill somebody if you don't know exactly what you're doing with toggling and forcing. Um, you know forcing you completely bypass machinery safeties and even sometimes even so in toggling. So uh, it's very important that before this lesson you understand I'm just showing you what happens and what can be done just so you have a better understanding of what it actually does. Um, my uh, teaching I say don't do it. Um, don't force, don't toggle, especially if you don't know exactly what's going to happen. And a lot of times it's hard to know exactly what's going to happen. But that being said, um, I'll show you how forcing and toggling works so at least you can make educated decisions when you are out on a plant floor troubleshooting machinery. So uh, as you can see here's a run light. It's output 4 of my PLC and it looks like uh, if I were to get this bit here true by toggling it I could check out my run light. And it seems like a pretty safe thing to do uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. I'm going to do a right click, toggle, and what happened was my run light actually did come on and um, here's my box that I'm controlling right here. So this light, this green light here is the run light, but there's a uh, fan here and some other components. And if I untoggle this, my run light did in fact go off, but I could also hear the motor starting. So I'm going to right click toggle again and my motor started. So if you were to look at this toggle bit, it's I'm going to do a right click cross reference of this toggle bit, which by the way is what you should do before you think about forcing or toggling anything is find out where in the program it's all used. And you'll see here it's used on rungs 4, 6, and 8. So if I go there, if I go to rung number 4, you'll see right here there's that same toggle bit. And it's tied in with this run control relay which actually starts my motor. So when I thought I was turning the light bulb on, I was in fact turning on a motor also. So imagine if this is a 50 horsepower motor somewhere out in a factory floor um, turning a huge conveyor or whatever that might be. You just turned it on by thinking you were toggling a light bulb. So the learning from this is that when you toggle something, you toggle it everywhere in the program, not just where you're looking at it from. So if I look down here farther, here's that same toggle bit that's turning on the power light and here again it's turning on the motor so I'm going to untoggle it and by the way if I try to toggle this bit above it right now nothing happens it will not let me toggle it because in this case I'm gonna do a right click cross reference you'll see there's an OTE or a coil that is forcing essentially forcing that toggle bit off so it's not allowing me to toggle it. Um, so those are some two different two different situations. Uh, so if you're trying to toggle something and it won't let you do it, chances are it's being controlled somewhere else. It's being written to. Um, that first toggle bit, if I go back and I do a cross-reference of it, this one here, cross-reference, you'll see there is no OTE that's controlling it. So that's toggling. Remember, it's going to toggle everywhere in the program. And you know you need to fully understand and fully search out everywhere that bit is used if you're even thinking about doing that. So then there's uh, forcing also. And we'll look at forcing of outputs. So here's this run control relay 3. If I force this on, my motor just started. You'll t see it's forced on. The very important thing to remember about forcing anything is if you look at the conditions up to it, 
Here I have some I.O. fault conditions and a communication fault. Well, if those faults um, were active right now, so if I had some communication fault somewhere in the plant, this thing's starting no matter what. Um, same thing down here. I can uh, unforce it now. And by the way, if you look at this, there's force off and remove force. Make sure you choose remove force because if I choose force off, now it'll never come on. And, uh, you know, so any of these conditions up to it will happen and it'll never come on. So make sure you choose remove force. And the same thing down here. If, uh, if I force this on, you'll see it comes on even though all these conditions are not true. So I'm going to force this off now. Now that's forcing outputs. Um, by the way, this jog light right here, if I wanted to test out this jog light, um, and this is a light bulb and you know it's not a motor, you could, I, I say this about a light bulb now, you could safely force this on. Um, that would be better than toggling it actually because now you're not changing it everywhere in the program, you're just changing it and turning the light on. Because one of the different things about forcing over toggling is even though this output three is forced on right now, if I go down and uh, there's another spot here I know that it's used in the program, you'll see here it tells me that that output address is forced on, but all of its associated bits are not true. It tells me it's on, but as you can see it's not true because this timer is not timing right now. So uh, that's forcing of outputs and remove force. Forcing of inputs, um, I would never recommend forcing inputs um, because not only you affect it everywhere in the program, um, but there's again no safeties, any safeties you're going to be bypassing safeties that are built into the code. Um, so I, I can honestly say I don't think I've ever forced an input on. Um, if I have forced outputs on, it's after careful consideration of what's going to happen and the same thing with toggling. So again, I recommend not doing it unless you are 100% certain what's going to happen, but at least hopefully this gives you a understanding of what's actually happening in the code when you do that. So good luck and be careful out there.